All right, it's Brian again in his aquaponics system. I uh, just wanted to give you another update. And, of course, with my updates, it's got to be snowing outside. Um, <laughs> I, got, I don't know. We're working on two feet of snow now, so we'll see what happens. The, the road is clear. The neighbor's driveway is clear, but it just keeps on accumulating out there in the uh, on the lawn. But, uh, anyway, I just wanted to give a update on... I just received these little guys today and it is duckweed that I gotten from a guy on eBay that's selling it on eBay. Yeah, it was cheap. It's like and I, I don't know where to get I don't know, I'm not sure where to get it around here in Colorado. Uh so it came from Florida. Arrived here in this snowstorm and uh it made it okay. It looks like it's all green and happy and perky and uh decided to put it in this little plastic tray here and just run the water in there until I figure out something else. I've got another grow bed I'm going to be installing. I think it's just going to be a uh, wet grow bed uh, with no pea gravel with uh, floating rafts. So I'm going to probably do one of those also. But uh, anyhow, I wanted to just give you a little update on that. Uh, it's kind of unusual looking stuff. I've never seen a plant like this. Uh, but it, uh, it looks pretty healthy, and it's supposed to reproduce really quick. So I'm going to see how it works out here in this little tray. Uh, I just put some holes in the side of it so it, it can drain out, and, but it's getting a constant fresh supply of water uh, running through there. But uh, anyway, that's the latest. Oh, oh, and then I was going to show you this. Uh, yeah, I know. i got motorcycles in my living room, or my dining room. Um... This is a concrete tray that uh, I am going to use for my other grow bed. I'm going to just go ahead and drill a hole through the bottom of it. Drill a hole through the bottom of it and uh, use that. And I'm going to end up setting it up up next to the other the other uh, uh, grow bed up here. And uh, there's another guy that used it on uh, YouTube. Seems to work pretty good. So it's about the right size. They're pretty cheap. They're only like. I don't know, six, seven dollars or something like that for that, that tray. So, oh, and then there was another thing I had gotten in here. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a pump. Let me get the box. This is a nice little pump that I got. This is a submersible pump. Uh, active, what is that? Active Aqua. And uh, it's supposed to do, I think it's 400 gallons per, per hour. Uh, nice little pump, 26 bucks is what I paid for it. Uh, and it's got a really nice little feature on here. I can show you here. <clears throat> it's got this little tube, and I've got the little tube. I wanted to create a, a uh, circulation in the tank and uh, keep the water moving so I don't get lazy tilapia. I can't get, you know, got to keep them guys exercised. But this right here, this tube right here, it's an air injection. This tube runs on down there, and you can and you can meter it, which is really cool. This little valve right here, you can turn it up and down to meter it, and more air or less air. And so I'm getting really nice, quite a bit of airflow, oxygenating that that water really well, and it's also creating a current in the tank. So um, I'm liking that. I think that was pretty good. So I'm gonna. I'm going to keep that in there and let it, because the fish seem to like it too. And, uh, but anyway, those are my new two things for the aquaponics system. Thanks for watching. And uh, the fish say hi. There they are. See how crazy they are? They're just running around chasing each other everywhere. Crazy darn fish. Anyway, <laughs> talk to you later, bye.